Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training. Today topic we are going to discuss on VLAN. Let's start our part 3. Okay, so let's just examine uh, what we call the uh, MUX VLAN or what we call the Multiplex VLAN. The main purpose of the multiplex VLAN is to control network resources using VLAN. What does it mean here? Now, if we refer back into this diagram, I have a switch S1. S1 have four PC and they have two different groups. One group is called VLAN2, is for employee. Another group, which is VLAN3, that belongs to customer. Now, for this enterprise, this customer are not supposed to able to see each other. All right, I do not allow them to communicate among themselves, but they allow to communicate to the enterprise server. Now for another group, which is on another VLAN, I do allow them to communicate among themselves and able to connect to the principal. But they are not allowed to, let's say now, I have another group, VLAN 4, all right, that, uh, that connect to the switch. So these two groups are not allowed to communicate among themselves. All right. So under such a circumstances, you would like to use Max VLAN. So Max VLAN uh, basically require principal VLAN and sub VLAN or subordinate VLAN. Whereas subordinate VLAN, we also have two separate uh, type here. We have a group VLAN and separate VLAN. So we have principal VLAN and subordinate VLAN. And subordinate, we have the group and the separate group that allow host to communicate. Whereas separate, they don't allow host to communicate. All right. So uh, this is the basic concept on the uh, Max VLAN, and uh, we are going to look into the configuration. So it's time for us to look into the VLAN configuration as well as the command. So here I'm going to show you how we can configure the VLAN. Uh, configure interface VLAN. I'll show you how you can configure the uh, Mac base VLAN assignment. All right. So, so if you still remember that we can configure the VLAN based on the Mac, IP subnet protocol. All right. So uh, they also have a policy as well. So I'm going to show you this uh, few configuration. We also will look into the inter VLAN communication. Then we look into the VLAN aggregation. All right. The uh, super VLAN and sub VLAN plus the uh, multiplex VLAN. All right, so uh, let's look into the requirement as well as the topology on our LAN. All right, so this is a company A. Perform the configuration below. So they have uh, two requirements. The first is to assign the VLAN based on interface. That's easy. So we have E001 on S1 as a hybrid. So here we are going to use hybrid. Okay. Second, configure the VLAN allowed by a trunk. So we are going to configure E0010 as a trunk. All right, so uh, that's quite simple. So we have a VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Okay, the port here will be on a hybrid. So let's jump to our lab now. So this is our lab here. So we have switch 1 and switch 2. Switch 1 and switch 2 are supposed to connect over the trunk using Ethernet 0010. And switch one has two uh, VLAN here. We have uh, VLAN two and VLAN three. So VLAN two will be in red color and VLAN three will be in green color. Okay, so we have uh, 1.1.1 .1 here, 1.1.1.3. .1 so here for the VLAN three, we have 112 network. So this is dot two and this is dot four. Right, let's configure our requirement. Uh, firstly, uh, it allow us the question asks us to configure VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 for each of the switches. All right, so let me undo the terminal monitor first, else later on I will have a lot of pop-up message. Okay, so configure our VLAN. Okay, then we are going to configure the... This is my switch one, and I'm going to configure switch 1 port 001 as a hybrid switch 1 port 002 is a ss okay that's the requirement so let me do a display port vlan and i just want to show everyone here that by default uh, huawei port are in hybrid so i do not need to do anything on port 001 but i'm going to do on the 002 
So I will go into 002 port link type access. Okay, and because this is a VLAN 3, then I'm going to use a port default VLAN 3. There you go. So I have just configured the port Ethernet 002 to become SS VLAN. Alright, so let me do a display port VLAN. Okay, let's look for port number 2. Alright, but how about this part here? This is supposed to be in VLAN 2. This is a hybrid port. So let me show you how you can do that. First, jump into the interface 001. Okay, so since this is already in hybrid port, I do not need to do a port link type hybrid. I just need to do port hybrid PVID2. Okay, that will make it as a uh, VLAN 2. All right, PVID, sorry, that is a VLAN 2. Then you have to do this port hybrid untag VLAN. All right, so this is uh, mandatory because you are going to make it as an SS port and an SS port do not have uh, VLAN. So when you uh, configure it, you have to configure it to be untag the VLAN. So you will have this configuration inside the Ethernet 001. Firstly, you are going to configure as a PVID VLAN 2 and uh, you also have to configure untag VLAN 2. Now, uh, let's jump to the switch number two. So switch number two, same thing. So I'm going to do a VLAN batch two and three. Oh, yeah, that's the message I mentioned early on. So let me undo term monitor first. Okay. And uh, I'm going to configure very simple uh, port number one and port 001 and 002 to become access port. So I can use a port group, group member, Ethernet 001 and Ethernet 002, port link type as an access. Okay, then um, I'm going to go into the Ethernet 001. This will be a port default. VLAN 2. Okay, I go to Ethernet 002. Okay, which is this one. It should be VLAN 3. So I do a port default VLAN 3. Now you can do a display VLAN to verify. Okay, as you can see that number 1, all right, Ethernet 001 is VLAN 2, and Ethernet 002 is VLAN 3. Now both VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 already has pre-configured the IP address. Okay, so let me go to PC number 1 here. Alright, as you can see that the PC number 1, IP config. Alright, you can see it's 1111. I'm going to ping to 1.1.1.3. Okay, now the reason that is unreachable is because that we have not configured the trunk. That's correct. Okay, so now, am I able to ping the PC2 and PC4? Of course not. The reason is because that they also have not configured layer 3 as well. Okay, so let us go back into both a switch 1 and the switch 2. So in switch 1 here, I just do a display VLAN. Alright, so I just want to see number 2 and 3. So you can use this command, display VLAN 2 to 3. So I have configured VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. You can see that this is a hybrid VLAN untag. So what I need to do here is to go into the interface Ethernet 0010 port link type trunk. Okay, then port trunk allow pass VLAN all. Okay, display this. You can see that all the VLAN has passed. So what I need to do is just to copy this guy and I do it on the switch number two. Okay, interface Ethernet 0010. And just paste it there. Enter, display 
VLAN. All right, as you can see that now, you can see that this is a TG, stand for tag. Okay, U here means that it's up. All right, D means that it's down. So same go for the uh, switch one, display VLAN. Okay, so again, you can see it's up. You can do a display port VLAN. And uh, if you look into here, it showed us that it's a trunk. So now let's do the ping. Okay, so if I go back to the uh, PC1, I'm going to ping to 1.1.3. So let me check the IP address here. Oh, so this is 1.1.2, sorry. So let's do a dot two here. Okay. And uh, I also want to ping from PC2 to PC4. So this is a PC4. Just make sure that I'm having the correct IP, 1122. All right, so this guy is a 1121. So let me do a ping to 1.1.2.2. As you can see that it's pingable. The reason is because that we do allow all the VLAN to pass through. Okay, now assuming that you do not want the VLAN 1 to pass through, then what should you do? Well, uh, if you want to make sure that only VLAN 2 and 3 to pass through and not the VLAN 1, then you don't use a, a port trunk a VLAN all. So what should you do here is you just do a port trunk, allow pass VLAN to to three, okay. So in this case, because I early on I have configured all the port to allow all the VLAN to pass through, what you can do is undo port trunk, allow pass all, allow pass VLAN all, right? Then you do a port trunk, allow pass VLAN to to three. Now you have just limit the uh, trunk port to allow VLAN 2 and 3 to pass through. So just to confirm that I'm still able to ping. Okay, right. So that will be the configuration on how you can configure the uh, uh, VLAN based on interface. All right, so let's look into the uh, next lab here. Now this time we are going to uh, configure the VLAN this time it's not based on the interface, but we are going to base on the MAC address. Okay, so the requirement is the same, company A, and we need to assign the VLAN based on the MAC address. So here I have a MAC address of 11, 11, 11, and 33, 33, 33. So these two MAC addresses are supposed to belong to VLAN 2, and 2222, 4444, 4, 4, 4, are supposed to be belong to VLAN 3. Now the requirement here is, if you are going to configure the MAC address based VLAN, uh, we have to configure as a hybrid. All right, we have to configure on the hybrid port, else uh, the uh, MAC address base will not work. So this is the configuration on how you can configure that. All right, so firstly, the VLAN batch is the same. Now what you need to do here is that you need to make sure that you have the right, the correct MAC address. So in this case here, MAC address, MAC VLAN, MAC address, okay? And on the interface, you are going to configure the port hybrid. You notice that? Port hybrid. Because that it can be um, VLAN 2 or VLAN 3, so you have to tell them that what VLAN are supposed to be, okay, for this particular interface. And more importantly is this command, MAC VLAN enable, okay? So for the trunk port, it's exactly the same. So when we do a display MAC VLAN MAC address all, you should able to see what type of a VLAN uh, that this particular host has belong to because we already predefined the MAC address okay, to the VLAN. All right, so this mapping is very important. If the user changed the MAC address, then you have to update this configuration accordingly. So let's jump back to the switch and do this configuration. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.